हेलो एंड वेरी गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू वेलकम बैक टू आर डेली करंट अफेयर्स वीडियोस आई होप यू हैड अ वेरी फ्रूटफुल डे फुल ऑफ रिविजन्स एंड मॉक टेस्ट एंड प्रिपरेशंस और राइट डू वर्क हार्ड स्टडी वेल व्हाई बिकॉज आर बी आई एग्जाम इज जस्ट राउंड द कॉर्नर ओके सो टाइम वेस्ट करने का कोई मोटिव uh, नहीं है आप लोगों के पास आई डोंट थिंक सो दैट यू गाइज नीड एनी सेपरेट मोटिवेशन यू नो टू प्रिपेयर फॉर द एग्जाम एंड prepare not just for the sake of preparing it but prepare it to clear it okay so if you are preparing to you are seriously preparing to clear your rbi grade b exam so please uh, do check out our crash course fast why because there is still time you still have time to ensure sure shot selection to uh, at least in the preliminary phase and then also we will help you with the phase 2 and also the mock interviews all right so do check out this crash course for rbi grade b exam preparation all right we equip you with all the materials personalized guidance and knowledge and the resources that you need for both the phases that is phase 1 and phase 2 all right so and also you can back up your preparation by downloading our app on google play store so that you can get daily access at one stop access to your daily quizzes and strategies continuous motivation and everything else you know right in one single app so make sure and sure to download it all right so let's just start with today's sessions okay so the first question here is uh, which iims center for digital transformation has established a retail tech consortium in partnership with flipkart all right in the previous videos we discussed about flipkart right it is an indian brand and indian uh, counterpart to online e-commerce uh, providers right e-commerce websites like amazon it was founded by sunny bansal and binny bansal who were former employees of amazon but then they launched their own venture flipkart uh, then it became one of the they became one of the top 100 entrepreneurs right so it is a very important site and this consortium it is a consortium between which iim and flipkart so the question is asking you which iim it has collaborated with flipkart you know i am center for digital transformation okay <clears throat> sorry so you have the options i am bangalore kolkata indore ahmedabad and kolkata please answer the correct question so that we can move on and you know look further into it what is it all about after all so the uh, correct answer here is i am ahmedabad ठीक है तो आई एम अहमदाबाद ने फ्लिपकार्ट के साथ एक रिटेल टेक कंसोर्टियम इस्टेब्लिश किया है और रिटेल टेक कंसोर्टियम राइट इट इज अ म्यूचुअली बेनिफिशियल कंसोर्टियम राइट सो व्हाट फ्लिपकार्ट विल गेन फ्रॉम डिजिटल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन बेसिकली आई एम अहमदाबाद विल फोकस ऑन प्रोवाइडिंग सोल्यूशन टू दी ऑनलाइन रिटेल सेलर्स बाय शेयरिंग नॉलेज राइट मैनेजिंग इन्वेंट्रीज लेबर शॉर्टेजेस सप्लाई चेन लॉजिस्टिक्स एंड अधेरिंग टू सस्टेनेबल प्रैक्टिस राइट सस्टेनेबल प्रैक्टिस वॉट डज इट बेसिकली मीन टू रिटेन दर कस्टमर्स और राइट एंड वॉट विल द कंसोर्टियम एंड वॉट विल द सेंटर फॉर डिजिटल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन गेन फ्रॉम फ्लिपकार्ट इट विल गेन इन टर्म्स ऑफ इंडस्ट्री नॉलेज और राइट it will gain in terms of understanding the consumer behavior and consumer knowledge right what do the consumers basically need it will conduct consumer surveys on a national level all right so even some bajis are preparing current affairs with us all right just enjoy the background music you know sounds of nature enhance your concentration so just enjoy all right so this is basically the main name is a mutually beneficial uh, consortium all right there will also be webinars webinars and conferences be conduct karwaye jayenge in which flipkart will share its industry uh, experience with the students and people involved with the center of digital transformation and i am ahmedabad and i am ahmedabad will transfer techno technological solutions to flipkart okay so this is actually one example of business to business partnership you keep coming across term business to customer and business to business all right and business to government all right so this is a very important example of business to business partnership okay 
so the second question here we have emergency credit line guarantee scheme emergency credit line guarantee scheme it was launched as a part of atmanirbhar bharat right it was launched as a part of atmanirbhar bharat to help msmes especially those msmes who are directly dependent on exports all right so let's just see first what it is it has been extended till march 2023 so ye e eclgs ka phase 3 hoga right it will be eclgs 3.0 all right and it has been extended till march 2023 right upper limit of the loans kya hai the question is asking you what is the upper limit of the loans for an individual msme in travel and tourism sector All right, so travel and tourism sector में upper limit क्या होगी The question is asking you that. Answer the question correctly so that we can move on to the explanation. All right, so the correct answer here we have is rupees टू हंड्रेड crores. Right, टू हंड्रेड crores hospitality, travel and tourism sector के के लिए extend कर दिया गया है That is बढ़ा दिया गया है Earlier loans could have been availed up to 40% of the outstanding credit limit of msmes and now that has been increased to 50% all right so whether it is 50% of the outstanding loan or whether it is rupees 200 crore whichever is lower right an uh, emergency credit line will be provided to such uh, msmes all right so it has been expanded by rupees 50000 crores the guarantee has been expanded by rupees 50000 crores to rupees 5 lakh crores so so that in order to enable it to include more and more distressed msmes in its ambit all right so both these announcements were made in the union budget of 22 23 all right other sectors that are being included in this uh, EC LGS scheme is civil aviation sector इसको इसका जो credit guarantee uh, link है it has been expanded up to rupees फोर हंड्रेड करोर और राइट फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ द टोटल क्रेडिट हैज ऑलरेडी बीन अवेल्ड और विच एवर इज लोअर इट विल बी गिवन टू एविएशन सेक्टर और राइट सो दिस इज द की डिफरेंस हॉस्पिटैलिटी एंड टूरिज्म के लिए इट इज टू हंड्रेड करोर बट फॉर द एविएशन सेक्टर इट इज रुपीज फोर हंड्रेड करोर All right, additional credit. Oh God, <laughs> additional credit of uh, to MSMEs. It has been selected stress sector. It will help them recover from the impact of COVID nineteen. Right, the loans under uh, EC LGS are collateral free. All right, so why collateral free fee? Because you know MSMEs have been struggling a lot post lockdown period. All right, some of their assets may be stressed, so they may not be able to provide the collateral that they need uh, if they were availing a loan from a regular bank. Right, so the basic agenda of the scheme is to help MSME to. improve the operational expenditure right to facilitate with the operational expenditure of these msmes by providing collateral free loans all right say for example for example ek fruits and vegetable seller hai right that fruit and vegetable seller is basically an msme uh, that person imports fruits and vegetables exotic fruits and vegetables from foreign countries and sells them domestically in india at a decent price all right now say for example due to covid or due to some any other issue there is a lockdown in that particular nation all right and the imports for which the msme has already paid an advance the imports are uh, stuck offshore right the msme has not received its merchandise so technically for the time being the fruits and vegetables are perishable they will perish so msmes will be facing a loss and since it has already paid an advance it will be cash crunched and it will it may not be able to carry out their operational expense all right so this is how this in these situations ec lgs scheme comes uh, aims to you know come into the scene and help these msmes come out of this debt crunch and recover faster all right so all, various other all the lending institutions uh, are involved in the scheme right be it banks nbfcs and member lending institutions all right 
so borrowers are allowed to seek loans up to 40% of their outstanding loans okay the limit has been extended we have already covered this i guess okay so as per the latest report of a total of 3.1 lakh 3.19 lakh crore uh, has been issued as loans to these msmes right which is about 95% of its guarantees it is a very big achievement it is a milestone achievement okay of course msme ke bare mein let me uh, tell you a bit about msme sector in india of course right as on uh, as per the latest report at least in the year 2019 the contribution of msme to our gdp was 30% right plus 11 crore people 11 crore people were being directly employed directly employed by msmes all right now india aims to focus to become a 5 trillion dollar economy right the role of msme in pushing india to become a 5 trillion dollar economy is very very crucial and you know in order to do that the share of msmes to india's gdp has to increase to up to what up to 50% okay it is one of the biggest employers in most of the economies and specially in indian economy all right so that is why in atmanirbhar bharat this scheme was one of the landmark schemes to pull msmes out of the debt crunch okay so i hope it was clear okay so what is the name of the software launched by chief justice n v ramana to transmit court orders swiftly and securely through electronic mode okay so electronic mode ke through कोर्ट ऑर्डर्स को ट्रांसमिट करने का एक बहुत ही इम्पॉर्टेंट इनिशिएटिव लिया है बाय चीफ जस्टिस एन वी रमना एंड बाय ही हैज लॉन्च अ सॉफ्टवेयर राइट व्हाट इज द नेम ऑफ दैट सॉफ्टवेयर प्लीज आंसर इट आंसर द यू हैव ऑप्शंस स्विफ्ट एजाइल इंस्टेंट फास्टर एंड रन राइट सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन हेयर इज फास्टर A faster software has been launched to transmit court orders swiftly and securely through electronic mode. Okay, its full form it is fast and secure transmission of electronic records. Okay, so whatever court, be it high court or be it supreme court, whatever uh, judgment it issues, it it is permanently stored in in this do particular document known as orders or record of proceedings. Proceedings. All right. and it stands for itself right it is like a legal mandate that the court has ordered this so it will apply right it will be applicable so basically what happened till now right what is happening till now basically is that whatever the court has issued suppose the court has issued an order today all right for this order to get implemented right we will have to wait for the hard copy of orders or record of proceedings right unless and until we don't get a hard copy of the record of proceeding the judgment will not get implemented right seedhi si baat hai ye okay so basically why this issue has also come up you should know the backdrop that in agra the court bailed out some prisoners right the court issue issued bail to some prisoners but even after the court issued the bail order the prisoners remained in the prisons only and only because the hard copy was not available with the prison authorities now is that a fair reason is that unavailability of hard copy in an electronic media world today is that a valid reason to you know keep the prisoners in the jail right despite getting a bail order इसके साथ बहुत ही ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट और क्रूशियल इश्यूज ये हैं नंबर वन एन भी हर साल एक डेटा पब्लिश करता है एंड ऑलमोस्ट एवरी ईयर देर इज एन इशू ऑफ ओवर क्राउडिंग ऑफ प्रिजेंस राइट ओवर क्राउडिंग ऑफ इंडियन प्रिजेंस इज अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड अ क्रूशियल इशू राइट जिसकी वजह से ह्यूमन राइट वायलेशन होते हैं प्रिजेंस में भी क्राइम्स होते हैं ओके सो at least at least if a court orders a bail order right at least this app this faster software will uh, provide for their early release right the prisons will be much more well managed by the prison authorities number 1 iska dusra implication kya hai second implication is 
that the judicial system of india is burdened with the pending case load all right you all keep reading in the newspapers for the past 2 and 3 years at least there is one editorial in at least one uh, newspaper regarding the overburden or the pending overburdening pending case load with the indian judiciary right one solution to reduce the burden of the pending case load is to make things work more faster right to change some rules to add some flexibility in the into the system right by in introducing key measures jaise aapka ho gaya tele law right this faster software right fulfilling of judicial vacancies and making available the information of judgments and the judges online available online all right electronic media and you know delegating some of the co cases to the subordinate courts and tribunals will help the indian uh, judiciary especially the supreme court to reduce the burden all right why am i telling you these facts see kehne ko ye hamare mcqs one liners bahut easily ho jayenge right but then there is no point you know of just uh, mugging up the facts without understanding the basic knowledge the context behind it right these additional uh, 10 to 15 minutes it will help you retain the facts in a much simpler way in a much faster way right because if aapko first stage hi clear nahi karna hai na mcq solve karke you also have to write down phase 2 mein bhi written exam hota hai you also have to speak in the interview you have to answer the questions of the interview right and even after getting selected into the rbi grade b post you have to work work as a policy maker work as an economist right so your thinking process also has to be in that line right that is why i'm telling you all these facts you have to think like that so that you can you are able to understand these issues better right it is very easy to mug up the faster software okay the faster software was launched by chief justice nv ramana right just in school mein you used to mug up one line of facts right but then you have to nurture and you know improve the way you think also okay so these context these behind the context are very very important and i don't think so any other website or any other uh, online lecture or even offline lecture is providing you with this in depth knowledge all right so i hope you are understanding what i am trying to say that why are we providing you you know such good context all right so fourth question is which state is the top producer of vegetables in india as on as on march 31st 2022 right you have options uttar pradesh maharashtra kerala tamil nadu or meghalaya the correct answer here is uttar pradesh uttar pradesh has reclaimed its position as the top producer of vegetables in india all right vegetables come under what horticulture right horticulture mein kya aa jata hai fruits flowers vegetables phal sabziyan phool herbs medicinal herbs exotic plants right so up is one of the top producers of vegetables one of the top producers of fruits is andhra pradesh okay so the total number of uh, top 3 vegetable producers up west bengal and madhya pradesh top 3 fruit producers we have andhra pradesh maharashtra and up right this is the quantity right so why is horticulture very very important for our country why are we studying and reading this data why because india is the second largest producer of horticulture okay horticulture ka hamari economy mein kitna scope hai you should understand that number 1 farmer ka jo income source hai right the income source of the farmer is diversified because of horticulture होता क्या है दैट इफ द फार्मर इज प्रोड्यूसिंग जस्ट वीट और जस्ट राइस एम एस पी बेस्ड क्रॉप ही इज ग्रोइंग ऑन हिज लैंड एंड कल्टिवेटिंग ऑन हिज लैंड ही हैज अ वेरी लिमिटेड सोर्स ऑफ इनकम राइट एंड ही ओनली हैज वन पीस ऑफ लैंड आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट स्मॉल एंड मीडियम फार्मर्स राइट देर इज नो क्रॉप डाइवर्सिफिकेशन सो सपोज देर इज अ क्लाइमेटिक इवेंट देर इज अ ड्रॉट देर इज फ्लड एंड ऑल हिज प्रोड्यूस इज लॉस्ट वॉट विल हैपन his investment will go in vain he will not get anything for his output right so at least 
crop diversification and income diversification is very very important to secure the sources of income for a small and medium farmer all right so that is where horticulture comes into the game why because horticulture india is also very important exporter of horticulture right there are certain key initiatives that are being taken by the government for example mega food park mega food park project so guy all right then also mission of integrated development of horticulture the mission of integrated development of horticulture launch easily kiya gaya to promote horticulture in india all right so of course iska main first aim kya hai to expand the area area expansion area cultivable area ko expand karte hain right cultivable area expand hoti hai that area that directly wants to uh, produce uh, horticultural related uh, crops all right and that area expansion is of course taken up by the state government all right so this mission of integrated development in horticulture is a very very important scheme that was launched in the year 2014 and 15 all right so moving on to the next question we have which edition of varun exercise has been organized by the indian navy in the arabian sea right varun exercise is a very important joint naval exercise between india and france okay ये अरेबियन सी में इस बार कंडक्ट कराई गई क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग यू विच एडिशन ऑफ वर ऑन एक्सरसाइज हैज बीन रिसेंटली कंडक्टेड राइट इट इज द ट्वेंटी एडिशन ऑफ वर ऑन नेवल एक्सरसाइज दैट हैज बीन कंडक्टेड इन द अरेबियन सी इट इज अ बायोलैट्रल एक्सरसाइज बिटवीन द टू नेवीज एंड इट वॉज इनिशिएटेड इन द इयर नाइनटीन नाइनटी इंडिया एंड फ्रांस इंडिया एंड फ्रांस हैव टू अदर एक्सरसाइजेज number 1 is exercise shakti which is a joint military exercise right between the indian armed forces and the french army right and we have exercise garud garud exercise is a joint air force exercise all right so india and france like russia russia ko kya terminology mili gayi hai that russia is an all weather friend of india right but in real sense in most practical sense france is also one of an all weather friends of india why because since independence france has been through the thick and thins of all the diplomatic issues and international issues in india and most of the cases france has supported india right be it on the issue of jammu and kashmir be it the mission of uh, you know making india nuclear economy all right a nuclear superpower and even france even supports india for a permanent seat in the united nations security council all right so france is a very very important diplomatic partner right france is also helping india to build scorpion class submarines right rafal ke bare mein to aap sabko already pata hi hoga we will also discuss more about it okay so know about this know about the significance of the france french relations with india all right and also uh, the pdf of this website will be shared on our telegram channel okay so do ensure that you join our telegram channel taki aapko is uh, uh, ppt ka aapko pdf wahan pe uploaded mil jayega right so when you will download this pdf on your smartphones you will go through this link it is a very very important link right it is a very important link that contains a list of all the joint army joint naval and joint air force exercise that india conducts with uh, all the countries right with almost all the countries jin uh, jin ke sath india ka aisa joint uh, military exercise initiative hai the list contains all those uh, number uh, all those uh, names of the exercise right it can be asked in the examination if you will go through the table two to three times it is just a one page table right it is very easily and very conveniently tabulated for all, all of you guys koi aur source nahi hai right the government website right at least one question on joint military exercise will be there in the examination so do make sure to go through this uh, link okay moving on to the next question we have which country has developed the world's largest electric cruise ship right 
वर्ल्ड की लार्जेस्ट इलेक्ट्रिक क्रूज शिप कौन सी कंट्री ने बनाई है इसका आंसर बहुत इजी है आई नो दैट यू ऑल नो इट बाय नाउ राइट एक ही कंट्री है दैट इज ऑब्सेस्ड विद मेकिंग एवरीथिंग द लार्जेस्ट इन द वर्ल्ड राइट दिस कंट्री वांट्स टू मेक इट्स ओन सनलाइट इट वांट्स टू जनरेट इट्स ओन सनलाइट इट वांट्स टू जनरेट इट्स ओन मून राइट यू सर्च द इंटरनेट यू गूगल अबाउट इट इट एक्चुअली हैज टेस्टेड नेचुरल नो अ मैन मेड सनलाइट फॉर एटलीस्ट सेवेंटीन सेकेंड्स और सो और राइट सो वन क्रेजी कंट्री वी हैव इन अ वर्ल्ड जिसको सब लोग झेल रहे हैं अभी तक बिकॉज ऑफ कोविड एंड एवरी थिंग इट इज चाइना राइट चाइना हैज डेवलप्ड अ हंड्रेड मीटर फुल्ली इलेक्ट्रिकली पावर्ड क्रूज शिप दैट कैन दैट कैन बोर्ड एटलीस्ट सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड पैसेंजर्स राइट एंड इट इज अ जीरो एमिशन शिप राइट इससे कोई एमिशन नहीं निकलता है ओके नाउ लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट द गुड नेम ऑफ दैट शिप इट इज यांग से रिवर थ्री गॉर्ज इज वन नाम भी इन्होंने ऐसा ही रखा है यांग से रिवर इज वन ऑफ द लॉन्गेस्ट रिवर इन एशिया एंड द थर्ड लॉन्गेस्ट रिवर इन वर्ल्ड राइट थ्री गॉर्जेस डैम इज ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द लार्जेस्ट डैम इन द वर्ल्ड दैट इज बिल्ट बाई चाइना राइट एंड ऑल्सो वर्ल्ड लार्जेस्ट इलेक्ट्रॉनिक इलेक्ट्रिक क्रूज शिप दैट इज बिल्ट बाई चाइना इज नेम्ड ऑफ दीज थ्रू दीज टू लार्ज एक्ट्स दैट आर यांग से रिवर एंड थ्री गॉर्जेस डैम सो इट इज वेरी इजी टू रिमेंबर द नेम राइट यांग से रिवर टिबिटन प्लेटो से ओरिजिनेट होता है यूनान प्रोविंस में मैक्सिमम फ्लो इट इज इन यूनान प्रोविंस in china okay very very important to know that yunnan province uh, has three parallels of china three important rivers of china right one is yangtze right another one is mekong very important river mekong uh, do google and learn more about mekong ganga corporation राइट मेकॉन्ग गंगा कॉर्पोरेशन के बारे में आप थोड़ा सा पढ़िए यू विल गेट सर्टेन इंसाइट्स अबाउट इट और राइट एंड द थर्ड रिवर इज सार्लिन रिवर ओके सो दिस इज द डील एंड इसका मेड इन वॉयज यी चैंग हुई प्रोविंस में हुआ है इन चाइना ओके सो आई होप इट वॉज एन इंटरेस्टिंग फैक्ट फॉर ऑल यू गाइज You want to go travel the ship? Sorry, the name of the river is not Sarlene. It is Salween. Salween River. Okay. So, how many unintended pregnancies have been estimated by the State of the World Population Report by the United Nations uh, FPA, that is Population Agency? Right. How many unintended pregnancies? राइट यूनाइटेड नेशंस पॉपुलेशन फंड राइट ये यू एन जी ए की एक सब्सिडरी है राइट इट इज अ सब्सिडरी ऑफ यू एन जी ए इट इज इट्स मेन एम इज टू डील विद रिप्रोडक्टिव हेल्थ ओके इट मेजरली डील्स विद रिप्रोडक्टिव हेल्थ एंड इट पब्लिश अ रिपोर्ट ऑन द इसका एक बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट रिपोर्ट आता है स्टेट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड एनुअल वर्ल्ड पॉपुलेशन रिपोर्ट ओके सो द करेक्ट आंसर हेयर इज वन ट्वेंटी वन मिलियन पर ईयर दैट मीन्स वन ट्वेंटी वन मिलियन प्रेगनेंसीज हैव बीन अन इंटेंडेड प्रेगनेंसीज ओके द टाइटल ऑफ द रिपोर्ट इज सींग द आंसीज राइट एंड द सब टाइटल इज द केस इन एक्शन ऑफ नेग्लेक्टेड क्राइसिस ऑफ अन इंटेंडेड प्रेगनेंसी सो अन इंटेंडेड प्रेगनेंसी का इम्प्लीकेशन क्या क्या हो गया फ्रीडम ऑफ वुमेन और इंडिपेंडेंस ऑफ वुमेन ऑन देयर ओन रिप्रोडक्टिव हेल्थ राइट देयर ओन चॉइस टू वेदर हैव अ बेबी और नॉट राइट सो फर्स्ट थिंग वुड बी योर इशू विथ फ्रीडम ऑफ वुमेन सेकेंड विल बी एन इशू ऑफ फोस्ट प्रेगनेंसी राइट सम ऑफ द क्रिमिनल केसेस राइट सम मैल प्रैक्टिस और सम इन ह्यूमन फोर्स दैट कैन बी एग्जर्टेड ऑन अ वुमेन एंड शी गेट्स प्रेगनेंट of course the third access would be lack of access to contraceptives all right that is also a major issue right so let's have a look at the statistics right so occurring each year between 2015 and 19 have been approximately 121 unintended pregnancies of which 61% ended ended in abortion right so basic human right hai right so a uh, annual unintended pregnancy rate it has fallen down from 79 to 64 right for every 1000 women 
in the reproductive age okay and only 57 women are able to make their own decisions over their sexual and reproductive health and right and 45% of the all the abortions performed globally were unsafe ओके सो बेसिकली हम लोग ये न्यूज़ पढ़ रहे हैं इट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अस टू लुक एट इट फ्रॉम द कॉन्टेक्सट ऑफ इंडिया ओके इवन दो इंडिया इज स्टिल स्ट्रगलिंग इंडिया इज स्टिल स्टिल स्ट्रगलिंग यू नो टू गिव द फ्रीडम टू वुमेन इन केस ऑफ अबॉर्शन बट आई थिंक टिल नाउ वी हैव वेरी एक्सटेंसिव अबॉर्शन लॉज राइट द वुमेन हैव द ऑप्शन टू अबॉर्ट देर चाइल्ड अप टू ट्वेंटी फोर वीक्स right beyond 24 weeks the fetus is considered to be grown enough to be called a human and then abortion becomes uh, necessary only and uh, abortion is available only and only if that baby is fatal to the health of the woman or it is still born or anything like that okay number 2 national family health survey एडिशन फिफ्थ एडिशन जो कि आया था 2019 एंड 20 में इट हैज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फाइंडिंग्स राइट दैट द इंक्रीज ऑफ कॉन्ट्रसेप्टिव इंक्रीज ऑफ कॉन्ट्रसेप्टिव हैव देर हैज बीन एन इंक्रीज इन द यूज ऑफ कॉन्ट्रसेप्टिव अक्रॉस द कंट्री और राइट द टोटल फर्टिलिटी रेट ऑफ मेनी स्टेट्स हैव फॉलन डाउन बिलो द रिप्लेसमेंट लेवल so what does it mean that in the long run in the long run uh, india does not need to fear india needs need not fear about population uh, terms like population explosion right maybe some states need a two child policy not the entire country needs a two child policy all right another important fact here is there is a scheme there is a scheme mission parivar vikas mission parivar vikas target families yeah, right to educate them on their access to contraception right so its main aim is to uh, in, improve the uh, access of contraception that is available to the families across the country okay so these are some estimate unsafe abortion that have led to maternal deaths right between 4.7 to 13. 2 percent of the maternal deaths are due to unsafe abortion annually. ठीक है, so one two fifty seven million women who want to avoid pregnancy are not using safe modern methods of contraception. One seventy two million of them are not using it at all. But I think the situation of India is not as bad as is mentioned in the report. We have very extensive laws regarding abortion. We have schemes that promote contraception we have schemes that compensate people who opt for sterilization okay so which of the following uh, is india's first kyc compliant crypto token right india ka crypto token se kya samajhte ho aap crypto token obviously it is related to cryptocurrency right so instead of uh, giving out the entire cryptocurrency to represent that cryptocurrency there is a crypto token okay and anyone who has that crypto token can redeem the value of the token and get the actual cryptocurrency that is the basic idea right so the question is asking you first kyc compliant crypto token kaun sa launch hua hai india mein abhi answer the question there is litecoin ready emption or redemption whatever you want to call it dogecoin cardano or luna okay so the current uh, correct answer that we here have is redemption digital technology private limited has soft launched india's first kyc compliant crypto token known as redemption or read e emption it is india's first crypto token right first crypto token where users can redeem for fiat money just remember guys cryptocurrency abhi bhi hamari country mein legal नहीं हुई है आर बी आई हैज बैंडेड सुप्रीम कोर्ट बैंडेड इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी एंड द नेशनल लेजिस्लेशन फॉर क्रिप्टो करेंसी इज ऑल्सो वेरी वेरी रिस्ट्रिक्टिव वी विल अंडरस्टैंड वी विल गेट इन टू द कॉन्टेक्स्ट वाई आर क्रिप्टो करेंसी बींग बैंड बाई आर नेशन राइट मे बी देर आर सम प्रैक्टिकल रीजन्स एंड मे बी देर इज अ वे फॉरवर्ड ऑन हाउ टू गो अड 
वाई बिकॉज कोई भी इंपॉर्टेंट डेवलपमेंट है अगर हमारी ग्लोबल इकोनॉमी में एंड बीट क्रिप्टो करेंसी देन वाई शुड इंडिया लैग बिहाइंड ओके सो इट इज डेवलप्ड बाई बिनांस से स्मार्ट चेन बेप ट्वेंटी प्रोटोकॉल ओके सो दिस इज very important these are some very important facts it can definitely be asked in the exam it is a very very good and an important question right do have a do pay attention right do pay attention basically what is cryptocurrency cryptocurrency kya hota hai it is a blockchain based technology right there is a block right each block has an identity that is known as its hash right हर ब्लॉक का एक आइडेंटिटी होता है इट इज नोन एज अ हैश एंड इट इज मेड आउट ऑफ व्हाट इट इज मेड आउट ऑफ अ मैथमेटिकल एल्गोरिथम राइट एंड दैट हैश इज स्टोर्ड इन एन ऑनलाइन लेजर सिस्टम ऑनलाइन लेजर में इस हैश को स्टोर किया जाता है ठीक है सो इसका बेसिक एडवांटेज क्या हो गया यार अगर कोई क्रिप्टो करेंसी से डील करता है तो वो ऑनलाइन लेजर में आई एम पेइंग यू थ्रू क्रिप्टो करेंसी सो व्हाट विल इट शो इन दी ऑनलाइन लेजर दैट आई हैव पेड यू फॉर दिस ट्रांजैक्शन नो थर्ड पार्टी कैन इंटरवीन राइट और चेंज द रिकॉर्ड्स ऑफ द ऑनलाइन ट्रांजैक्शन एंड दैट विल रिमेन देयर ऑलवेज राइट सो वॉट डज इट एंश्योर इट एंश्योर्स वॉट इट एंश्योर्स ट्रांसपेरेंसी राइट इट एंश्योर्स ट्रांसपेरेंसी राइट द ब्लॉक चेन टेक्नोलॉजी के थ्रू जो ट्रांसपेरेंसी आती है इट हैज अ लॉट ऑफ स्कोप टू कॉम्पैक्ट करप्शन ओके बट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू नो वाई इज इंडिया नो नॉट टोटली फॉर क्रिप्टो करेंसी हम लोग प्लान कर रहे हैं क्रिप्टो करेंसी लॉन्च करने का बट इट हैज टू बी आर बी आई बैक Why? Because cryptocurrency has no central authority, right? It has no legal tender. It has no central authority. Okay. And number one, number two, uh, because cryptocurrency has no central authority, right? It is. It affects the sovereignty of the nation, right? So there is Indian rupee, जो fiat money होता है, that is actually the legal tender because it has a sovereign backing. So it is the threat to the sovereignty of our nation, right? Number two, cryptocurrencies are very very volatile in nature, right? Their prices can shoot up to twenty thousand US dollars, right? And in the next month, it can be, uh, it can come down two rupees. Or four thousand uh, US dollars, right? This has actually happened, right? They are extremely very volatile, right? Any kind of volatility can disrupt the economy totally. Okay, so this kind of middle way out, what is that? RBI launched launches a cryptocurrency, a digital currency that is backed, regulated, and managed by the RBI, right? Why should the Indian market be left behind just because there are some anomalies in cryptocurrency? right and also it is very important to note that the process of creating mathematical uh, uh, alg algorithms right each block it is a very very power intensive process right a lot of energy is used in uh, making of these cryptocurrencies okay so this is the entire thing right so that is why ye cryptocurrency token launch hua hai it is not a direct cryptocurrency but it is a cryptocurrency token ओके okay, ये कैसा टोकन रहेगा कि यार देर इज अ क्रिप्टो टोकन बट इट कैन बी रिडीम्ड ओनली फॉर द इंडियन रुपी ओनली फॉर फीट मनी इट इज अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इनोवेशन ओके सो वी हैव द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन आई होप द कॉन्सेप्ट वाज वेरी क्लियर टू यू दैट एज पर द एक्सटेंट ऑफ आर बी आई बैंक विल हैव टू कंप्लाई विथ कैसेट स्वैप फ्रेमवर्क इन दर ए टी एम्स बाई विच ईयर द डेड लाइन ईयर फॉर द कैसेट स्वैप फ्रेमवर्क ओके कैसेट स्वैप फ्रेमवर्क बेसिकली क्या है लेट मी एक्सप्लेन इट टू यू इन अ वेरी सिंपल वे दैट करेंटली इन एटीएम्स द करेंसी नोट्स आर स्टैक्ड वन अब द अदर जस्ट लाइक दैट राइट सो इन अनगार्डेड एटीएम्स वेयर देयर इज नो सिक्योरिटी गार्ड नो फेडरल सिक्योरिटी राइट द प्रॉब्लम इज दैट दे हैव द ऑप्शन टू एक्सट्रैक्ट एटलीस्ट फाइव टू टेन थाउजेंड रुपीज आउट ऑफ इट Okay, it is very easy to hack an ATM machine and get some extra currency out of it. So basically, these cassettes, these cassettes, cas contain uh, 
currency notes right these cassettes have a unique code and that smart chip these cassettes are equipped with smart chips right and these smart chips will contain all the information as to how many currencies are there in one particular as cassette all right so this cassette swap agreement was for the very first time it was uh, proposed by rbi in the year 2009 but again in 2018 it was also proposed by a very important committee now first just let's have a look at the answer the last date has been extended till march 2030 uh, sorry march 2023 okay we have already discussed what these cassettes are circular launch kiya tha rbi ne to mandate these lock lockable cassettes uh, you know to be installed periodically in the atm machines okay shri d k mohanty committee is the name of the com committee on currency movement right committee on currency movement chaired by shri d k mohanty the executive director it was formed in the year 2016 and recommendation ke basis pe 2018 mein rbi ne ye cassette swap agreement launch kiya tha okay so i hope you know the basic idea why the cassette uh, swap framework was in the first place you know mandated by rbi okay so the very last and the but the most important question for today here we have the first visiting professor t n sheshan chair at india international institute of democracy and election management that is i i i d m new delhi ka first visiting professor kon bana hai okay so t n sheshan chair T N Sheshan is a very very important. He was the tenth Chief Electron Election Commission of India. All right, a very important personality. Uh, you know, it can he carried out very important electoral reforms in our country. Okay, so the first visiting professor who has been appointed is Mr. Ashutosh Kumar. Okay, he has been appointed as the first visiting professor to. uh t n sheshan chair at this international institute of democracy and election management right holistic study hoga hamare uh, electoral process ka in the country the basic idea of this institute is to carry out a holistic but also an interdisciplinary approach to electoral studies in the center and dr ashok kumar worked as the professor in the department of political science punjab university okay let's know first now let's know about mr t n sheshan who was he born in kerala right he was an ias officer and he was the 10th chief election commission in our country from the year 1990 to 1996 right some of the major electoral reforms that we follow in our country till date number 1 you have your model code of conduct right model code of conduct was introduced by mr t n sheshan number 2 poll expenditure koi ek candidate maximum poll expenditure kitna conduct kar carry out kar sakta hai that limit was also for the first time imposed by mr t t n sheshan right third very important reform is photo id card photo id card of all the electors in the country isko compulsory bhi mr t n sheshan ne hi karwaya tha and a lot of other reforms right a lot of other important electoral reforms were carried out in his uh, time and another important was that pehle hamari country mein before he was appointed as the cec there was only one person one chief election commission for the country but t n sheshan introduced more membership in the commission right so two more members have were added election commission was made a multi member uh, commission after the reforms by mr sheshan okay he was very very important he passed away to in 2019 only all right a very influential bureaucrat he was known as the messia of you know of the cleansing process of indian democracy and electoral process right kyunki elections mein pehle bahut sari mal practices bhi hoti thi un pe bhi ban inhone hi lagwaya so the very very important person you all should know about it right
there is no excuse of not knowing about such an important personality so important for uh, your country okay so thank you so much for watching this was it for today i hope you all learned something from the video right from the uh, session okay thank you so much for watching keep studying revise one hour daily right keep in touch with your mentors and teachers right and study hard all the very best for your rbi exam see you in the next class bye bye